now recording with Hungarian professional basketball star and former Gator, Azania Stewart. So, Zania, the first question to you, how is your first pro season going? Um, it's going really well. Obviously, I've, I'm on my third team, actually, as a professional. Um, I started in Spain, Zamora, a small little town. And, uh, I mean, I stayed there till Christmas, and it went well for me, but uh, just some things didn't work out, and so I decided to not re-sign there, um, which was unfortunate, but probably the best decision as I am just the first year in. Um, and then I stayed at home in England for a month and played in England. So that was just trying to tick me over until I got this new job. And so now I'm in Hungary and it kind of brought me here to um, make the playoffs and to and to play in the playoffs. So we've been, we're actually seven and two since I've been here. So it's been actually pretty sweet. Um, so it's been good, yeah. That's good to hear. Um, one of the things that I definitely wanted to talk to you about was, oh, you know, obviously over the summer with the London Olympics, Yeah. you played for Great you know, Britain. Team, and, I mean, I just thought that was incredible, you know, just being able to see you. I, I, I did uh, end up getting to watch all your games. How great was that, having the Olympic experience right in your backyard? I think it was it was really cool. Like, one of, I guess, like a, a life-changing experience for me. Obviously, we didn't win, get, but... Um, you know, we gave our best fight, and so on the court, it was a great experience, and off the court, obviously, it was kind of nice, it was just being that school, but it was such a great experience, and like you said, in London, my family got to see me play every game, and just kind of, I could pop home if I wanted to, but I only went once, but it it was really amazing, I think London did a great job of, of putting on the biggest sporting event. Absolutely, and you, you obviously had that once-in-a-lifetime opportunity of, you know, representing your country on, on the world stage. I mean, there really is no sports stage bigger than the Olympics. It's honestly the oldest games that there is. Right, and especially for women's basketball, it's the biggest and the best you can play at. What are some of the things that you miss most about being a Gator? Um, I think watching all the sports, really, and uh, I follow some stuff on Instagram and Twitter and seeing everyone, you know, winning championships that, or seeing people, oh, I'm at the tennis match tonight, or, you know, going to see the lacrosse girls, or, and all the sports, and I just, that was one of my favorite things to do, like on a Friday night, go watch the gymnastics, or I don't know, anything, and I think that's what I miss the most, is watching everyone else play and succeed, and obviously because the athlete community in Florida is such a tight knit. You know, we do have dinner together, we have study hall class, and then obviously practices. So um, everyone is such good friends, and everyone supports each other. So I really miss, I would say, the whole kind of sorority frat kind of life of it. You know, brothers and sisterhood. And that's one of the great things about the, you know, the Gator Nation. All the teams are so tight knit. It's like they're one giant family. Yeah, they it, they really are. And have you been following the the women's basketball team since you left? And what did you think of this year's team? Um, I thought obviously they were young, only with Jennifer George um, and and JT. I think they did a great job and making the postseason and going really far. That was so exciting for them. I was happy. And yeah, um, actually, Dee Dee Madu is overseas too. She's just gone back home today to Tennessee, but she was playing in Spain, and so I got to hang out. She wasn't far, so she would come and visit me, but. Uh, since I've been here, we would FaceTime on her iPad and then we'll watch the uh, N- um, NIT games together and watch the girls so and the guys. So it was actually really cool that we could do that together. So I kept up with both teams. Pretty solid run that they made. You know, no one really expected them to get as far as they did in the women's NIT. So it was it was fairly impressive. Yeah, I was I was really proud of them. Uh, I wish they would have hosted. They, if they had hosted the semifinal game, I think it would have been much better for us. But. There you go. They would have packed in the O-Dome for sure. Um, right. Are there players that you had um, played against in college that you've run into now that you've gone pro and actually yeah. have gone to play uh, against them? Yeah. A girl from Arkansas and and then one from Miami. So, some, you know, obviously I'm only a year out, but um, it is pretty cool to see. You know, I took a visit to Miami before I just committed to Florida, and so I have seen a few people here and there, but, I mean, it's nice. Everyone just kind of says, hey, and how are you, and 
good to see you. And obviously, was having Didi in Spain when I was there. It was nice to have something to do or somebody to talk to. So we've actually become really close because we're on the same time zone and everyone else is sleeping when we're awake. Yeah. And is going from college to the pros an easy transition, especially when you're when you're jumping from one country to another that's, you know, fairly far I th- away? I think for me it was easy because I've known I've known teammates who have gone from Florida to overseas have struggled where for me I left at 16 from London and came to America and then in the summer I would play the national teams and we would travel to lots of different countries so for me I've always kind of lived out of a suitcase (laughs) I've never really uh, sat in one place more than a couple months and then I'm moving on so um, for me it's pretty much it's easy it's just making sure that the teammates fit and the coaching and the level I'm playing at is, is good. So that's the only worrying part. But moving countries and traveling, that's been my life for a good 10 years now. Obviously, you're playing for for third this season. What are some things that you hope to accomplish in the off season as well as next season? Um, The off season, we have the, uh, the Euro basket for Great Britain. And it's been real unfortunate after having the Olympics, our funding has been cut. And so this summer for us in the um, Eurobasket, we have they've given us kind of like a a one year trial. So we have to do well. It's kind of do or die, literally. And Great Britain basketball is uh, on the verge of being extinct. So this summer I have a big challenge in my Great Britain team to do well and show that we can still compete and let there be a future for the younger people and also myself for next year and following year. So that's this summer's challenge is pretty tough. I think it's tougher than the Olympics because the Olympics was, um, you know, we were there to compete and okay, if we won, yeah, but if not, it, we were there to make our countries proud and to help kids to aspire to something where this summer is, it's literally, we are, we have basketball, uh, Great Britain basketball on our shoulders. So that's a bit crazy. And then next season, I guess this kind of the Eurobasket will help me make a new team. But in the future, I'll kind of want to play on a Euro Cup or a Euro League team and just kind of keep achieving. Any dreams of uh, someday coming back and being in the WNBA? Yeah, of course. I've always, uh, you know, wanted to do that. I know it's difficult to make um, those teams. and But even if I just try out, I think that would be a great um experience and a, and a goal for me and yeah i would i would love to azania stewart former gator basketball great thanks so much for your time